What is up guys, I'm Julius and today I'll be teaching you what I like to call the right way to do a VHS overlay and also the goofy way. But without further ado, let's get started. So I am here in my Premiere where I prepared two clips which we will be working on today. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my project and create a adjustment layer, just like so. Hit OK and drag that on top of here. And I mean, you could do the effect directly on the clip, but I like to work with adjustment layers. So the first thing you're going to do is to go over here to effects and search for an effect called Lumetri Color, which is basically Premiere's color correction effect. In here, you want to go into basic correction and you want to turn the temperature a little bit up. Next up, you want to go down here to on the light and you want to turn the contrast way down. The reason why we're doing this is basically just to choke out some of the colors. Next up, you want to go into creative. In here, you want to turn up the faded film a little bit, maybe to something like 35. And let's also turn the vibrance up to something like 50. And the saturation a little bit down. And next up, I'm going to go into curves. And I will choke out just a little bit of the reds. And I will do the same for green. And I will do the same for blue. So already now, if I toggle off the adjustment layer, you can see a huge change and it's almost like uh, we're choking out a lot more of those colors that an old camera wouldn't be able to capture. Next up, I'm going to search for an effect called noise under noise and grain and apply that. Next up, I'm going up into my effects controls and under noise, I'm going to change the amount of noise to 25%. But here it is completely optional how much noise you want. And I will take off use color noise. Next up, I'm going to search for an effect called mosaic. And here I will change the vertical blocks to 1920. And I will change the horizontal blocks to 540. And this basically means that the um, we will get half as many blocks in the y-axis. So this is the right way to do a vicious overlay, I would say, because this looks closest to the real thing that you can get. And here you can maybe add some black edges to get like the correct format and whatnot. But now I want to teach you the goofy way to do a VSS overlay, which also has its place. So I will copy my adjustment layer with all its effect by holding down Alt and dragging it on top of our second clip like so. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search for an effect called Wave Warp and apply that. And let's change the wave type to square. And let's change the wave width to 1000, direction to zero, and the wave speed to a negative 0 0.1. Let's change the painting to all edges to get rid of the black edges. And now we will have this wave going through our clip. And this is already pretty goofy, I'd say. Next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag our adjustment layer up two places and I will search for an effect called RGB. It is this one we are looking for, color balance RGB. And I will apply that to our clip. And I will turn down the green and the blue. And I will hold down Alt to duplicate this video. And in this one, I will turn down the red and turn up the green. And I will duplicate it again. And I will turn down the green and turn up the blue. And now I will change the blend mode to screen and the two top clips. And in the bottom clip, I will shift the position a little bit to something like 1965 and 545. In the other clip, I will shift five pixels in the other direction, so 955 and 535. And that way we get this, these chromatic aberrations just way like overpowered. And maybe I think just turn down the noise a little bit because it's starting to look a little bit too goofy. <laughs> but we can sell this effect even more and do it even more goofy. So I found a VHS overlay and I will apply that on top of our clip and just fit it like so. And I will change the blend mode to screen. So now we have this super goofy VHS overlay. 
But anyways, that was all I had for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the comparison of what I like to call the right way and a comparison of the more like goofy way of doing a VHS overlay. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. But anyways, take care guys. Bye bye.